The Half-Life of Love by Brianna Bourne is an interesting and heartbreaking story about love and death in a world where people know exactly when they will die. Flint Larson, the main character, has only 41 days left to live and has known this for most of his life. He has spent years getting ready for his death by staying away from people and reading sad books. But when he meets September Harrington, a smart, fun-loving girl who has spent her whole life trying to find a cure for the half-life phenomenon, everything changes. The relationship between Flint and September is written beautifully, and you can feel the chemistry between them. As they spend more time together, they start to fall in love, but they both have secrets that could keep them from being together. Flint doesn't want to tell September that he is going to die soon, and September is hiding her own painful memories. Their different wants to look for the truth and protect each other make for a tense and emotional plot. Bourne has a beautiful way of writing, and she paints a vivid picture of the world where Flint and September live. The setting is both real and made up, from the small, run-down town of Carbon Junction to the shiny, high-tech Half-Life Institute. The author also does a good job of exploring themes like fate, death, and the value of life, which gives the story more depth. The Half-Life of Love has well-developed characters, and readers will quickly care about what happens to them. Flint is a complicated and likable character, and watching him struggle with the fact that he is going to die is heartbreaking. September is lively and full of life, but she also has her own problems to deal with. Even the minor characters have their own stories and reasons for doing what they do. The Half-Life of Love is a beautiful and touching book that will leave me feeling both satisfied and emotionally drained. The way Bourne writes is great, and the plot is well-paced and full of twists and turns that will keep readers interested. Fans of young adult romance, science fiction, and modern fiction will all like this book. Highly recommended for anyone looking for a book that will make them think and make them feel.